guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new here, welcome. My name is Mazzy, and today I'm doing my medical storage and re-filling um, some of my drawers. So I'll like refill them first and then give you like a tour of how I store all my medical supplies. <laughs> So every month I get a new um, round of supplies for my tube and they send a ton of syringes every single time. So now I have a good amount of extra syringes in this box, this drawer right here. But I have such a surplus that I'm like filling up this box with syringes as well. So, I don't know. Maybe someone will need them in the future. Like on Instagram, I would totally send some to someone. Or, um, I don't know. Maybe like I'll go through them and finally reach them. But they send them every time. So, I'm not worried about running out at all. So hit me up if you need syringes. Okay, so just as an overview, the top drawer has adhesives and stuff like that to, to stick my tube to my face. The second drawer has syringes that have not been opened yet. This one has bags. My cat just came in, sorry. This one has bags um, for my tube that the formula goes into. The fourth one has powdered formula and then like a bag and an extension. And then there's one that you can't see right now, and it just has a bunch of, like, random stuff in it. Like, different medications that have, like, a extras that I have collected because I've been inpatient for a total of 41 days this year. And for probably half of those days, I've had a tube. And so they always send my home health supplies while I'm in the hospital. And then I'm using the stuff from the hospital but it's also at my house so I get like surplus I have surpluses of supplies right now so they all condense into these drawers these are all my tube drawers and then I have a cart that holds all my medications in it right now so I will give you a tour of 
of this and then the cart and that'll be it. Okay, so here is a overview of what my supplies look like. Um, it's in a corner of my closet, which is actually kind of helpful because it's out of the way and it's kind of tucked behind stuff. So this is like an overview. I have white Sterilite drawers. The top two are smaller and the bottom three are um, taller. And it works really well. They look dirty, but that's how it came. So, I don't know. Over here I have extra um, formulas. So that's the Elecare. And then there's two K Farms boxes. I don't tolerate them anymore, so I can't use those. And then a bowel prep, because I have scopes at the end of the month. Then I have a gastroparesis awareness poster that my friend made me, because that's the whole reason I have a tube. So I thought it would be cute to have it sitting over here. And so let's get into the drawers. The top drawer. Here's an overview of the top drawer. It looks like a mess, but it's... I have a system. I really do. So over here I have like um, tape, tape, adhesive removers, and alcohol swabs, uh, tube caps, more tape. Here's like... Uh, hospital grade hand sanitizer, there's uh, liquid adhesive under there that I never use. This is my favorite tape to use, so it's like, I have a lot of it and it's like right at hand. I have cotton swabs like q-tips, um, masks because of corona, and then this just came from home health, so it's still in the bag, but I will separate them. There's like Sure sight, like tegaderms in here, and then uh, adhesive removers. There's more tegaderms. Plus, this has heel warmers in it for like an infant for when I get my blood drawn. I always heat up my arm. And then I have tube clips and little, there's a couple of them in here. There's like a present and a snowman. Um, I'll put those on top of the clear sight so that. I can change it more frequently than I change the actual tubes um, tube because it sticks for a long time for me. Then in the second drawer I have unopened syringes for when I'm ready to switch out the ones that I'm using. This one is packed full of bags, like I can't even open it all the way. But that's all that's in there, there's just a bunch of feed bags. This one has all my formula in it. I'm on two right now so I do both every day. I go through more Elecare than I do Duo Cal, but I mix them together. So uh, I'm on Elecare because my gut is really sensitive and I have a lot of allergies. And then this is like a calorie bulker pretty much. And then I have like an extra bag and a extension, but I that's the only one I've left so I haven't used it yet. And then finally, in the bottom drawer, there's kind of a lot of just random stuff in here. Um, this is a heat pack. It's a teddy bear, but you put it in the microwave. Um, I have, this is the backpack that my pump came with, but it's too small. It's like the size of a toddler. Like, that's the size of a person that would fit into it, even with the straps all the way pulled out. Um, but right now, it's holding different kinds of braces and slings and stuff like that. I have a blood pressure cuff monitor right here because I had high blood pressure for a while. I have um, medications that I'm not taking anymore. I have uh, water right here from the hospital because if you touch it, you have to take it with you or they throw it away. I'm on chromaline, so here's like an extra box of chromaline that I haven't opened yet. And then like my old tube is right here. I have um, like a nosebleed emergency kit because I have a low platelet count. I have CHG wipes for central lines, a paper bag, uh, the user manual for my pump, and then like that's for my cat, so that's not relevant. Okay, so here's an overview of my cart. The top shelf has different medications on it. It's like all the medications I'm on right now. The um, 
second one has syringes and water and Zofran and like random stuff in the uh, like cup, I guess. And then the third one has the chromalin, the Miralax that I take on a daily basis, and then like the stuff I use to mix it, some scissors, that kind of thing. And so yeah. Here's what the top looks like right now. I need to fill my medicine container. It doesn't even have all the medications I'm taking right now in it, so like all the pills that I take on a daily basis. So I really like when I take my meds every morning right now, I have to like pull extras out of different containers because I didn't have all the meds when I filled it last, but that's what it looks like at the top, all the meds I'm taking. And this is the second shelf. I have Zofran, water, throat spray in the back, and band-aids in the back. In the cup I have an EpiPen, some plastic bags, and scissors I think. There's a box of clean syringes and then the open storage like so the pantry one has clean syringes and then this is clean syringes too. They're just different sizes that don't fit in that. And then this is like a medication regimen from two hospitalizations ago or something like that. But it's not very up to date. And then the chromalin, the stuff I, or the cup I use to mix the Miralax, the actual Miralax, and then a pair of scissors and a flashlight. So that is my medical storage. That's how I store all my stuff. And I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a like and a thumbs up and I will see you in my next one. Bye.